Bitcoin has seen a surge of over 300% in the last year doubling its all-time high and going well over a thousand percent since its all-time high of around $3,400 in 2019. Many people not in crypto have been asking the question, is it safe yet to enter crypto now? And since this is a channel dedicated to honesty, I would have to say the answer is no. Crypto has never been safe, and won't be for many years if I were to take a guess. A lot of people liken every bull market to the 90s.com era because thousands of companies that launched with products and tools that give little value got overvalued and eventually did a pump and dump where most people lost their money. Crypto is not different in that aspect, and in most cases, they are more extreme. In fact, there have been hundreds of thousands of alternative cryptocurrencies, and there may only be a handful of them in a few years. In this video, we are going to discuss five companies that may be around for the long haul, and most have already survived a 90% plus drop in a multi-year bear market. Like the 90s.com era, we are trying to find the Amazons and the Ebays of the crypto world so you can position yourself in the safest way possible while not missing out on those potential gains. We are in a time in crypto not seen in many years. And with the current economic inflation going on around the world, Bitcoin is set up for massive gains. We here at Skyscrook Crypto not only have been upfront about all of our trades since last year, but over 90% of those trades are still in green, with the worst being about a 15% drop. However, of the 90% gains, we have Ocean over 400%, Sora over 400%, Kusama over 700%, and that's just since I posted them on Twitter. Since I spoke to you about those projects on YouTube, we have had a lot of those gains, maybe even double what I just told you. Heck, we were talking about Sora at $8 and it pumped up to $140. Heck, even two weeks ago I posted my riskiest trade yet with Erratix, and that trade is already well over 200% right now. I may not post every single day talking about a new project because I only talk about tr projects that actually have real world value. I talk about projects that don't do pump and dumps and become irrelevant a year later and I find projects that you can hold on to for years. That is also not to say that I will always pick winners and I am not a financial advisor of any kind so you must do your own research when checking out these projects but the projects we are talking about now I believe will be some of the biggest winners of 2021 without taking the risk of massive losses and the awesome thing is you can get every one of these projects from the same app, Crypto.com. In fact, if you use this reference link in the description or on the screen now, you will earn $25 for free in crypto just for signing up. So let's make up for 2020 and make 2021 our year. So sit back, relax, and let's learn everything about these five game-changing cryptocurrency companies. The first project I want to talk to you about is Bitcoin. Now before you talk trash, the reason I say Bitcoin is because this is by far the safest bet in crypto if you expect to make a profit without taking massive losses. This project has an upside of $500,000 to $600,000 per coin if it just matches gold's market cap. And that's only if you look at Bitcoin as a store of value, which we all know it is so much more. This could be the only candidate for the money of the internet since it created the first internet of money. Most people already know about Bitcoin, so I'll just leave it at that. Every other coin I talk about, the price depends on Bitcoin. At least that's how it's been 100% of the time in Bitcoin's past. When Bitcoin pumps, alts pump. When Bitcoin crashes, so do the alts. Second project I want to talk to you about is Ethereum. Most people in crypto already know about this project, but if you don't, then it should absolutely be a part of your crypto portfolio. 
If you are interested in what are called altcoins, that is, or alternative coins, every coin not Bitcoin is considered an altcoin, and you will find a group of people referred to as maxis or Bitcoin maximalists that will tell you that any coin not Bitcoin is ultimately trash. On the other side of the table, you have people that either like the alternative coins because they provide a different type of value than Bitcoin does, and they believe the current crypto ecosystem will be vast, or you have people that like old coins because they normally pump 10 times harder in a bull run than Bitcoin does, and people want these precious gains. If I were to be completely honest, I would put myself in both categories, but I want to help promote companies that actually have worth and value. This is why I created my list for you today, and this is why I started my altcoins with Ethereum. Now I do believe Bitcoin can do everything that Ethereum can do, but Bitcoin's current focuses are elsewhere. That being said, Ethereum was also never meant to replace Bitcoin, but was designed to create an additional layer to the internet and provide an ecosystem for crypto companies to run on. You can liken it to Ethereum being the internet, and the internet provides an ecosystem where Facebook and Google can build upon. In 2017, a man by the name of Fabian Vogelsteller working with Ethereum created the ERC20 token on Ethereum where anybody could create a company in the Ethereum crypto ecosystem. By the way, Fabian Vogelsteller currently is creating a company called Luxo. It's a low market cap company, but check out the video that I created on it. It's actually one of my favorite projects and it's actually launching in February in 2021. This ERC-20 token essentially drove the 2017 bull run because within an instant, thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands, of companies could launch easier underneath the Ethereum umbrella because of the tools Ethereum provided to make it easier. Currently, over 90% of the crypto community is running their projects under this ERC-20 token. Recently, Ethereum launched ETH 2.0, which is adding a second layer to Ethereum being able to massively scale the transactions per second, which would essentially mean these thousands of companies that have been building on Ethereum since 2017 will finally be able to onboard massive amounts of users. ETH 2.0 could take eventually two years to end up taking place, but Phase 0 started December 1st, 2020, and this is what Danny Ryan, an ETH 2.0 researcher, said about the project. A great deal of work went into Phase 0, including several test nets and audits. There's still a lot of work to do to get the full ETH 2.0 upgrade, and of that, remaining ETH 2.0 phases, ETH 1.5 will be the most crucial phase as this is the step during which ETH 1.0 will merge with ETH 2.0 and move from a proof-of-work model to a proof-of-stake system. Overall, the ETH upgrade system combined with Layer 2 scaling techniques is intended to solve Ethereum's problems for the long run. Once there is sufficient base layer functionality, scalability, and security, ideally the protocol can scale largely and become stable. If any of these companies built become super successful, it will propel the use of Ethereum and ultimately the price once the value becomes more solidified in the crypto ecosystem. All in all, this would be my second safest pick and I believe Ethereum will be a trillion plus dollar market cap eventually, which would put Ethereum's price close to $9,000 per coin. However, what's the value of the internet now? Some say it's two to three times larger than gold's market cap on the low end, and if Ethereum only matches gold's market cap, that would put Ethereum's price around $87,000. Third project on this list is Polkadot. Polkadot is one of the most complicated projects built in crypto because it essentially connects all cryptocurrency projects together. It allows Bitcoin to work with Ethereum and connects these blockchain companies that have different codes. Currently, projects not built on the same ecosystem can't fully work with other projects cross-chain. It would be like using your Gmail and you would not be able to send an email to a Yahoo email account. Now, it's much more complicated than that, and this company does way more than that, but this solves many problems across the crypto ecosystem as a whole. 
This project was also created by the same person who was the CTO of Ethereum and wrote the yellow paper for Ethereum and invented Solidity, which is used when implementing smart contracts for Ethereum and other projects. This project launched in the top 10 and in my opinion, it is a competitor for taking the number two spot in crypto, which Ethereum currently holds. This project I have held from the launch and I will have in my long-term holds. And Polkadot's current price is under 10 times that of Ethereum. This project may be one of the best performing assets of 2021. Fourth project I want to talk to you about is Chainlink. Chainlink is a company that verifies data on the outside world and puts it on the blockchain. While most blockchain-based projects aim to uproot and replace the legacy systems of today, Chainlink takes a different approach by offering a bridge between old legacy systems and new blockchain systems. Essentially, they verify information of all sorts. Chainlink offers a more reliable and secure solution to centralized oracles by allowing the requester to choose as many oracles as they want to service their contract, as well as the ability to select what and how many data sources to use. For example, someone could have 100 nodes service their sports bet contract with 50 retrieving data from ESPN, while the other 50 get data from Fox Sports News. The results can then be aggregated however the requester likes, such as producing an average and the outliners can be thrown out, with nodes getting punished for providing outlier data by being issued by a payment penalty and receiving a strike against the reputation, similar to how a bad review works on Yelp. Now when it comes to verification of data, that's a business that's needed in just about every industry. Verifying payment funds, insurance, enterprise, supply chain, utilities, identity, government, etc. If this project is successful in being used as the main oracle for crypto, we could see a $150 chain link price in the near future, and way beyond that in the coming years. The last project I want to talk to you about is Cardano. Now this last project is an interesting one in that it's a competitor to Ethereum, which is my number two pick. This project is created by Charles Hoskinson, who was also on the original team that created Ethereum. Now in Charles' own words, the way Ethereum does things is they write code and when it breaks they fix it until that doesn't work and they just repeat the process. Charles said Cardano is launching slow because they are getting all the code proofed and passed off by universities. And then they write the code, meaning they don't waste time, energy, and money working on projects that may be a waste. This project has the same potential as Ethereum with the exception of Cardano being 14 times smaller than Ethereum at the moment. In the short run, however, Ethereum has an edge on them because they are first to launch and they have the largest ecosystem and tools to build on. And they have been working on those tools and ecosystem for over four years. However, Cardano may launch with high scalability as well as tools and lower transactions fees out the gate and they may have the masses come build on their platform. This year will be an interesting year for that project as they've already launched their long-awaited phase two of their roadmap called Shelly in July of 2020, which was aimed to decentralize the ecosystem. But in March of 2021, they aim to launch phase three of five of the roadmap called Gogan, which is finally aimed to build a decentralized application on Cardano's ecosystem. Cardano has been building since 2017, and this will be the year people will be able to build on it. So 2021 could be a big year for Cardano. Okay, so I know I said five coins, but since most people don't count Bitcoin, I'm gonna add one more. Now, this project was not available on Crypto.com, but recently it did become available, so I feel like I must talk about this project. 
And as you see, this project is called Synthetics. Now, this project is unique in the way in that it provides derivative projects to the crypto world, allowing anyone anywhere to gain on-chain exposure to a vast range of assets and essentially can derive its value from any asset in the world and tokenize it. This project just hit $2 billion and is tackling the largest markets in the entire world. Most people don't know, but the derivative markets are bigger than all other markets on earth combined. The low ends of this market is in the $600 trillion range, while many have it close to $1.5 quadrillion. Just to show you a perspective, here is a four year old image showing you the money in the world at that date. Also note how much more money is in these markets just four years later. Makes you think where will we be in another four years or so. At any rate, as you can see, there is a lot of room to grow with this company and they will be providing more and more derivatives as time goes on. This project I am very excited about and I have no doubt will do extremely well in 2021. And that is it. I super appreciate everyone who has watched this video. And if you like this type of content, just know I do these type of videos multiple times a week. I go live every single Sunday and I make videos and content to um, towards people that are new into crypto. So if you're fairly new into crypto, uh, liking and subscribing absolutely isn't a bad idea. Uh, everything that YouTube gives me also goes to charity. So all those likes and subs all absolutely uh, you know helps out a lot. But um, super appreciate again everyone who's watched this and i will see you at the next video <laughs> take care bye